So we're gonna be doing some pendants next. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this metal bezel, and this is more of a rectangle, and we are gonna fill it with a quick cast resin. And after that, we're gonna be doing decoupage and adding fun things to it. So, let's get started. I am using this resin tape, and I have it on this waxy paper and what you're going to do to seal the back of your resin piece is you are going to press that down nice and tightly so when you fill your piece it just doesn't fall out <laughs> I guess I don't know a better way to say that it just isn't gonna fall out now now I am using uh, the amazing quick cast resin. It will turn white, but we're going to be covering it so it doesn't matter. And I didn't need much for these bezels. So you have a part A and a part B. And I think to make this easier, I'm going to cut these two apart. Take the part A. I'm going to pour it into my little mixing cup. And then I'm going to pour part B and you really don't have much time to work with this because it will start setting up fairly quickly after you've poured this in. So I'm going to pour this in and just stir it very quickly. And you really need to make sure you're using the exact amount of each part or very, very close. If you don't, you're gonna notice your resin isn't gonna dry, it's still gonna stay sticky and tacky, and that usually is the cause of that. So I am gonna pour this in. this out I could have added a bit more but I didn't want it overflowing I'd rather have a bit less in than it flowing out of everywhere so we are just going to let this set and it will probably well within a couple minutes actually I can see it clouding up and it'll start turning white with, within just a couple minutes. So I've let this set several minutes and you're gonna tell if it feels hard. You wanna make sure it is hard. I'm gonna pull the back of this off. Yeah, hopefully it is. Okay, I'm gonna have to give it another second. It's a little tacky there. Let that dry and I'm gonna peel this off. You want it very, very flat. Since I didn't quite fill it all the way, I would probably use the back side, but it is still a bit tacky. Now, if I want to add extra charms or other fun pieces, I'd probably use the front side because it's a little more shallow. But we can also fill this with the clear resin when we are done, so you will never know. So you can see this side is, it's got some bubbles, but it's a much flatter on the front it's a little deeper. So what you really want to do, I just put this in there, but you need to have a template. If you were doing a lot of these, you would take this and make your template so you know how big you need. This is from my Roy Cycle catalog decoupage paper. I really like this. So I'm going to look at this and what do I want? I think I'm going to want it like that. Uh, a pencil's probably better, but I'm just going to use a pen because I'm going on the outside edge. And what I know is I'm going to go just a little bit smaller than what I'm drawing. It's 
always better to do something a little bigger than smaller. And you can see my lines there. I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna cut it just on the inside edge of that. I need to find some fun transfer words or something fun to add in or a sticker or... Still a little bit big, but that's okay because when it is decoupaged down and dry, I will just sand the edges and it will fit perfectly. So let's do that. We're going to just get our decoupage medium and whatever your favorite medium is, you can use for this. When something is um, on tissue paper, a lot of times you want to make sure you have a, back, a, a white background so it really shows up, or you paint the back with white very carefully. This happens to be white already, so this isn't going to affect us at all. We're not going to need much, but we're just going to put this on here. And I'm not worried about getting it on the frame. I can clean that off later. So it is a little bit larger, but that's okay. Because when it dries, we're just going to use an emery board and just a little um, sanding stick and go around the edges to get the excess paper off. While I'm doing this, make sure that's smooth and down, and then I am, most people would like grab one, right? But this works really good. <laughs> and put another coat on top, real quick. And this should just take a few moments to dry, and when this is dry, we will sand the edges. So I'm just gonna take my emery board or any little bit of sandpaper and you can just go around the edges and it'll come right off any of the excess. And be very careful when you're sanding the top because I'm just getting it off the top edge too. I can see my metal. It's right in my room, I know right where it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of a sheen on it. If you have a gloss sealer, you could just put that right over the top or a glossy accents or anything that you would like. So I'm going to use my glossy accents, but you could use it. And I just want this to be gloss. And you don't, if you don't want it to be, don't use gloss. But I do want this sealed and I probably even used way too much. It's okay, we can get that off. And... Give it a nice, pretty, sealed finish. Try not to get too many air bubbles from that. It's supposed to be self-leveling, so we will see. It's so tiny, and I'm using this brush, so. Okay, I'm just going to put a little heat on that. We're going to let this dry, and we'll see how this ends up. 